In the 1970s, Thailand had up to 220,000 square kilometers of forest land, or about 40% of the country's surface area. They were some of the most biodiverse rainforests in the world. But over the past 30 years, we have lost more than a quarter. Protected forests were trespassed and illegally developed into resorts. Some suffered illegal logging, while others became golf courses. The government was able to prosecute some of the wrongdoing, but because the boundaries between legal and illegal weren't clearly defined, there was still a huge open space for trespassing to take place. Wealthy investors and local crime syndicates backed these illegal activities so people didn't dare file a report. So how can we better set the boundaries that protect our forests? How do we get everyone involved in taking care of our forests? Introducing the Virtual Fence Project. For the first time ever, we are going to fence off our forests so we can protect them. We sent out a team of volunteers to drop pins around borders of protected forests, using our message as the location name, whether they're mountains, rivers, roads, homes, or even resorts. Since we know that today, tourists always check in wherever they go, we decided to use social media to our advantage. From a forest with no borders, a fence suddenly appeared to surround it. Everyone who passes by and checks in at these locations will see our message, and they can check in using our location name to help spread the seriousness of this problem to their friends. With new tourists visiting every day, a limited number of volunteers becomes unlimited. Today, about 20% of our protected forests have been fenced off, and this number keeps increasing daily. For the first time, Thai forests are now protected through the power of social networks. Imagine how great it would be if about 39 million square kilometers of forest area around the world could be protected this way, while the cost to protect them could be nothing. Thanks for joining us to help protect our forests. Drop a pin. Save the world.